PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, how are we all going today? Hey, I did myself a favour the other day, well I thought I did, I brought myself one of these flash circle cutters from a plasma cutter. So in this video guys, we'll take it out of the box, see what we actually got, see if it actually works properly, or I might just be better to use a lump of wire like I normally do to do some half circles. Anyway guys, same shit as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want, we can have a bit of a yarn, and let's get into it, eh? Woo! So I paid about 50 bucks for this guys, I uh, bought it off Amazon, so let's have a look what you get, eh? Hey, it looks alright. They've got a, uh, a circle guide thing here guys, it looks pretty well made as well. We've got an arm. And it didn't even cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> I should have been a comedian. <laughs> and we've got a doofer thing here with a point on it. And we've got an Allen key. Yeah. And we've got a really cool looking box with polystyrene. That's a piece of junk. Anyway, get rid of the box, Pete. We don't need that. Let's get down to the good things. So what do we actually got? I think they call this a compass, guys. So they say. But I only want to do really like half circles around here. So I don't know if this would be any better than just using a lump of wire like I normally do. But anyway, we'll give it a crack, Nigel, and see what happens, eh? So I think we screw that bit into there. Screw the arm in there. That will be the downward end, I presume. And then I noticed some of them guys have got a magnet on it, but this one here's just got a pointer on it. So we'll put our pointer on there somewhere. And when you're doing this, guys, make sure that you, whatever you're cutting... It's wide enough or narrow enough to whatever circle you want. So that depends how far you put the arm in and out, of course. So I just basically want to go around here and sort of do a half circle. So if I do that, and we'll just line it up roughly. So if we go here so we don't waste too much material. Go down there. And of course my piece of steel is not exactly square, is it? So, you know. Close enough, Pete. Close enough. So anyway, we'll try it about there, guys. So if we have a look here guys, make sure we're still in for about the centre, centre of the torch up there, yeah that'll do. So we do up this little doofer here, if you want to buy one of these guys I'll just put an Amazon link in the description below but I don't know if it's worthwhile or it's just better to do it with a lump of wire. Let's see eh? <laughs> and we've got these little Allen screws in here to tighten the torch up I presume. And then we've got another little doofer here which I think makes the center swirl. And we've got another little pin here that if we do that up, it locks the center. If we undo it here, it makes the center move, which is quite good. I've seen some of these and they're really shitly made, but this one's not too bad actually. So let's give it a crack, see if it actually works. Now I've got my trusty old plasma torch here, guys, PT31 as usual. It's my favorite word again, this generic word, and that doesn't fit in there because it goes around the other way, you dick. <laughs> Uh, as you can see guys, I've done this many a time before, not with these, not with this, not with this circle cutter I haven't. Now yeah, we've got another Allen screw on the other side guys, so if you undo the both of those Allen screws, now that's not bad actually because it also centers it up, which is quite good, so you can get the right distance, because remembering that the PT31 is a drag tip as well, so it has to touch on the steel that you're cutting. If you line that up there guys, that's just because it's a drag tip, the tip has to touch the middle that we're cutting. So that's quite a good idea really, so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll just use the uh, little Allen screw doofer thing to do it up. Luckily they provide me one of these little Allen keys because I just don't know where my shit is. Half the time it's on the bloody floor. I've got these fairies that come in the garage and steal stuff when I'm not here. I'm bloody sure they do, eh? And I think they sell it on eBay. Because <laughs> I can never find my shit. There we're looking. Yeah, it's looking alright, it's in there tight too, so since you're not going to come out, give that a crack, Pete. Yeah! So I'm pretty sure with these things, guys, you're supposed to drill a hole for this thing to go into, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm just going to blow a hole. But if you drill a hole, you get a nice round hole and it won't catch when you're turning it. But like I say, I'm just going to blow a hole about the centre of mine, about there. And we're not... And we've got no contact because we're not low enough with our... You see that guys? We haven't quite got a contact made. So 
So it's just trying to jump across because it's not piled up. So we have to just lower the torch down a little bit more. A lot more complicated than my bit of bloody wire. Right, let's try that. Give that a kick in the guts. Yep. So we hold it here, guys, and just try and do a bit of a half circle. I'm wondering if it'll work. Give it a crack, Nigel. Give it a crack. I'm having a hard time cutting through this rust, guys. See, there's rust on the steel, and it just doesn't like it, eh? I've got my glove on because that's friggin' hot. And we're not all the way through there, guys. I don't think, oh, I guess we are. If you have a look at that, that's pretty ugly, guys. And uh, yeah, not my best effort. If you have a look at that, guys, you also see that I didn't have that centered. Well, I had it centered, but my steel is not square. It's sort of more rectangle than what it is square, so therefore I couldn't center it, if you know what I mean. I mean, that was my first attempt with that thing. So, you know, it's not that bad. It, a blind man will be pleased to see it. I mean, you could just run a grinder around there and it would clear it up. I reckon it's got to do with the way you set this thing up. Here, I'll try it with a piece of bloody wire and we'll see if we do any better. All of a sudden realized, guys, why I couldn't keep that straight. Because as I was going around, this was undoing the ceramic and the uh, plasma torch itself was vibrating like that and it wouldn't cut properly. So there's a trick for young players, isn't it? Anyway, let's just try and do it with a lump of wire. So I've already got my hole in here. I've got a bit of flux core welding wire here. Roughly measure how long you want it, how far you want to cut. So I want to cut about there. So if I just twist this wire up, I use flux core wire because it's quite soft. If you're using solid core wire, sometimes you need a pair of pliers to bend it around. Now this is not scientific by any stretch of the imagination, guys. So we've got a hole there, guys. I just bang a screwdriver in there like so. Put this in the by your screwdriver. Grab the old plasma torch. Hold the screw. You've got to have about 30 hands to do this as well. But let's have a go at doing this, eh? Much more control. And then that rusty steel again is a pun in the arse. Clean steel cuts really good. What do we end up with, guys? Once again, I wasn't quite centered, but we'll sort that out. So we cut this side as well. Put the old gloves on, so we don't want to burn Pete's fingy wingies. <laughs> so guys, we'll just snap them off there. Here we go. What do you reckon? Piece of wire. Have a look at this one, guys. That's done with a lump of wire. The outside of this one here was done with the uh, proper tool. <laughs> and the inside here was done with the piece of wire. So you decide. I mean, this is the first time I tried the tool, and it's about the third, fourth time I've used a lump of wire like that. So. Either side. I mean, I would say within, you know, 10 minutes of using both of them, if you did four or five cuts, you'd be getting both of them pretty damn good. So guys, either side, what do you reckon? $50 little doofer thing here, a circle tool, or a piece of wire that I found on the floor of the workshop. Anyway guys, 
like I say, you decide. Same crap as usual, guys. If you like the bullshit that I'm talking, remember to subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And I'll see you next week for another load of crap that you didn't want to know. See ya. Bye. Peachtools.com.com.com.